What's going on guys, Alex here and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the MX5. So today we are doing something that I've wanted to do for a while. We are sorting out this exhaust. So I'm not a massive fan of the twin exit. I know some people are, but personally I like the one big tip out one side. That's what she said. And uh, that's w exactly what we're going to be doing today. So if we have a wander over here, we've got some boxes here from M2 Motorsport. So I've gone for the non-resonated GCAT back box. Yes, words failing me, but we're going to be taking off this system off here. I think it was just something that the previous owner had fabbed up as, uh, I'm pretty sure it says power flow on it or something like that. So I think it's just one of those ones where you turn up and they'll just custom make you an exhaust. So we're going to take that off and hopefully we're going to be getting a lot more noise from this. So let me unpackage this and show you what we're working with. So here we go. As I said, we've got the cap back, non-resonated with the decap, all coming to this one. Okay, stickers are alive. Uh, back to this one tip. It does have a silencing bung in it, but obviously we're just gonna unbolt that because we want maximum noise with this so yeah i think get this started up just so we got some previous comparison uh, sounds but not that anyone really cares about this because no idea what system it is and it's not stock but at least that way we've got a little baseline as what it sounds like before and after but i can't wait to get that on and hear what that sounds like so yeah let's get this started up a couple of little baby revs and then let's whip this system off and get that nice shiny new one on. So we've got the car up in the air so we can have a look at the uh, previous system. So yes, I know it's still very crusty under here. I am planning to do that underside refreshment with all the stuff upstairs at some point. We've just had a couple of hiccups, but that's not the point of this video. So we've got this back box here going out to another tip over here, but annoyingly, as you can see, there's like nothing to support this tip. So it just flaps about a lot. So it, straight through to this center box over here which I can only assume is most probably the cat now that I think about it I thought that was just a silencer but that is most definitely going to be a cat in which case I probably should have measured that up first um, oh well hindsight is 2020 so hopefully the so essentially with these there's two different sizes for the cats i just thought that was a <laughs> a silencer in the middle but actually having a look at it properly i can see that's a cat so yeah fingers crossed this is the right size if not it's going to delay it a little bit but anyway let's get that off and then we will reassess the situation so i won't bore you with how to remove an exhaust because I'm pretty sure most people will know this by now. It is literally just a case of undo the bolts, take it off, job done. But because these are gonna be rusted on, I'm going to drown them in some duck oil first. And if that doesn't work, then I am going to um, just angle grinder it off because I don't care about this exhaust. So, and phone's dinging away. Ah, let's just get to it. We've got a wild Sam ready to help out. <laughs> so we've managed to get the old exhaust off. Nothing to see over there. And yes, it has unveiled a lot more crustiness. But again, this is all going to be sorted out at some point. We just need to figure out when. But yeah, I know I'm going to have a cutout here uh, when we fit the new exhaust. But 
if you've watched my previous videos, you will know that I've got a body kit on the way, which is actually arriving in three days time. So that'll be good. And we'll go back to having a single sided exit. So I'm gonna hopefully sell this off um, with the exhaust if anyone wants it. So yeah, anyway, now is time to uh, get this all fitted up, hoping that the decap pipe is the correct size. So it turns out that what I thought was a cat isn't actually a cat, as it says power flow on it. So it could possibly be a sports cat, not entirely sure, but I think it's more than likely just a uh, silencer. So somebody has decatted this at some point, but the difference is, is obviously that's just now going to be all straight through system. And I think the back box is, is it the same size or is it small? Yeah, it's about the same size, so hopefully it will sound the same, but a bit louder. But yeah, let's get this onto the car and uh, see what she sounds like. So we have uh, fitted up the back box and the mid pipe. However, if you come for a stroll with me, You'll see mid pipe and stock down pipe. The uh, decal I've got is the wrong size and it does not fit in any way, shape or form. So what we're going to do for now is uh, Sam's removed the old cap, whatever you want to call that bit from the old exhaust as it was a 370 mil and we are going to repurpose it for the time being, stick it back on here and offer it up to uh, the new exhaust. Hopefully it should fit. There's no reason why it shouldn't. And uh, at least that way the car is usable for now. And then uh, I'll get in touch with Boffy and be like, please help me, I've ordered the wrong cat. So here we go, cleaning it up. It's in better days, but there's definitely a silencer in it. Yep. Yeah. We don't like silencers, but uh, needs must. So what it was is with the decap, uh, I think it's like 89 to 93 is 370 mil. 94 to 97 is 440 mil. And then 97 onwards is Another size, I can't remember if it was 470 or something like that. So I thought, oh, my car is a 1994. We'll go with a 440, but definitely not. So yeah, that's where we're at now. Get that fitted up and then see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna imagine it's not gonna sound too different from the old system now, because obviously we're gonna have a silencer in again. But as soon as this turns up, we will uh, definitely stick that in. So I suppose it's gonna be like a two for one type thing. So we're gonna see what the M2 Motorsport back box sounds like with uh, the race pipe. And then in the next video, whenever the correct size decat turns up, we can then hear what it's going to sound like fully decatted and straight piped. So yeah, although the Downpipe is tiny on here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so downpipe is tiny, so it could do with a bigger downpipe. However, because I am planning on turboing it, then it's pointless paying for a new downpipe now to then change it yet again. So we will just have to wait until November to order the turbo, and then we can see the uh, the new downpipe. I think the the kit that I'm looking at comes with like a Kraken downpipe. So yeah, we'll we'll just do it that way and uh, play it by. However, let's get this put on the car and finally start it up. So the previous silencer is now back in. However, there is a little bit of a gap here, so we're probably going to get a little bit of a blow by when we start it up, but because the car only needs to drive for 
two minutes back home, I'm not too fussed about it because obviously I'm going to get a new decap pipe anyway, so I'm not too fussed if that does blow for a little bit. However, we'll start it up with this little bung in place, um, just so we can hear what it sounds like with that in, and then we'll open up so we don't die. And uh, yeah, so we'll hear what that's like, and then we can lower the car, take that out, and uh, let it warm up and hear what it's like outside, so... Go. Jesus Christ. To be fair, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> yeah. Bit of a blow going on, but that's not V8. <laughs> budget V8. Uh, yeah, I'll turn it off and uh, get that removed, drop the car down, and see what she sounds like outside. All right, so we've removed the bung, so let's see what it sounds like now, and then. <laughs> A bit of a better sound. decent revs or not So there we have it, one somewhat install on the MX-5 and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video even though it hasn't gone quite to plan and obviously it's a bit wet but it is what it is. So make sure to subscribe as the next video we're going to get the correct decap onto that and yeah, we'll find out what it sounds like with no blow by, the correct full system and uh, yeah all right i'll catch you guys in the next one and yeah more fun times with the mx5 to be had cheers